Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and we are back with another WordPress video. We are looking at custom login and registration plugins. I've actually looked at seven free options, so let's get into it. Basically, if you're tired of having a WordPress login screen that looks like this, and you'd like to have something a little bit more pretty, something maybe looking a bit more like this, then keep watching. Okay, so in the first video, I covered off the first four plugins. Now this is the second half of the video, so you can see the description and you can check out those top four plugins. I really quite like Clean Login. That was my probably the pick of the top four. But in today's video, we're gonna look at Ajax by Marcus Sykes, Login Press and Theme My Login. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're starting with Login with Ajax. Now this is a completely free one. I just searched for Login Ajax install and activated 50,000 installs four and a half stars it's a pretty simple little one to set up so let's have a look if we actually go to our settings we go to login with ajax so it's nicely tucked away there and then you've got your um, login redirection settings you can redirect people after they log in you can redirect them after they log out you can redirect them based on their role as well um, by default you just end up at the actual account page but um, a few different settings you can go for there. To actually get the plugin working, you'll need a short code. You'll find the short code under your plugin list and you have to click view details of the plugin. They've written it in the description here. So I think I just scrolled down and I looked at the installation maybe. They didn't write it there. They wrote it in the description, yeah. So I scrolled down and there is the short code there. So LWA or login with Ajax. So all you need is that little short code. Um, they both do the same thing. Let's try putting that on the page and see what it looks like. So here we are on our page that we made in Elementor. Now I just put a short code widget here. That's just a simple matter of going to your widgets, finding the short code widget, dragging it on there. I'm going to pop it next to the other one. And then you just put that in LWA and you'll get your widget in there. I don't need two of them. I've already got one. So. All you do then is hit update and it goes live onto your page. Now, if you're logged in, you'll see that little bit of profile icon. But if you haven't logged in yet, I'll show you what that looks like. This would this is what it would look like to a new user. So uh, you can log in there with your username and password. You can also register for the site. Click that and you'll get a nice little pop-up and a password will be emailed to you. So this was super, super easy and it can redirect to your member page. What it didn't have was a Google recapture, but it wasn't a major problem because most free Google recapture things work out of the box and they put the Google recapture right under it. So I'll show you how that works in a second. Okay, so I found a recapture plugin called Recapture by Best Websoft. Now that's a free one. You can just click activate, install and activate that one. There's a few different choices. They all do similar things, but all it does is put the Google recapture code onto your website. Let's see what that looks like with that little Ajax plugin. So there we go. With the recapture plugin, you'll get this little I'm not a robot thing to go along with that. So you don't get um, registration spam and you don't get login spam attempts as well. So um, quite good. That was all done for free. Very simple, very clean. It fits in with the uh, with the formatting that I've already got on my website. So don't mind that one. I also like Clean Login for my previous video. These are pretty much equal. I think Clean Login looked a little bit tidier than this one. So maybe I'm just gonna give the edge to Clean Login so far. Okay, next up we've got Login Press. Now if you search for Login in the plugins library, it'll be one of the top ones. Um, login Press has 100,000 active installs and uh, five stars so very promising i'm going to see what this is like install and activate that one and what we'll get is a login press option there let's click settings so here we are in our settings now the first thing you'll notice is login redirects is only in the pro version so that is a bit of a disappointment you can get some free plugins that will handle the redirections for you so you could add that on if you really wanted it otherwise when you log in you just end up at your account page so maybe that's what you want anyway so it can still work for you the real interesting stuff comes under this one called customizer so this actually works by allowing you to customize your WordPress login and it's the standard WordPress login but you're in your theme customizer and you can change the logo from the WordPress logo to any logo that you want so I'm using my idea spot logo here and we can go ahead and change it to whatever logo we like so we can go ahead and change it 
and you can also go ahead and change your background image so the default WordPress background is just a gray background you can go ahead and change that and have whatever background you'd like as your background image so very very simple like I said it works with the recapture the free plugin automatically um, dropped itself in there to check that you're not a robot so you didn't actually need to pay for any um, Google recapture add-on for this one but quite simple to use you can get some quite stunning effects just with a logo and a background image and putting a little bit of border shading around your button maybe and that's on a button beauty you can add a bit of um, shadow on there like I did and all very quite simple to implement and you can really beautify the standard login page so I think on most pages you'll probably want something like this plugin to make your WordPress um, login look a lot nicer than it was before Looking at the actual pricing, it's not super cheap, but it is pretty cool for what it does. It makes your site look much more professional. So, and, and then for $39, you can just do it on one site if that's all you need. But it is yearly, so that is a little bit of a sting as well. So not really sure. I think just using the free one, I still got a pretty good result. And um, I didn't really need to add Google Recapture because I got that for free. And the only thing I might really want is login redirects, but I'm pretty sure you can do login redirects with a free plugin as well. So you may be able to get away with um, gluing a few free plugins together and getting the same effect. But if you want something nice and clean and professional, then uh, it's probably not that expensive if you're um, running a serious agency. Okay, finally, the last one I'm going to look at is Theme My Login 100,000. It's got a lot of installs, but the rating's not as good. Three and a half, it's not quite as good as the other ones we've looked at, but let's just have a look anyway. Let's click Activate. So there we go, we've got uh, Theme My Login and we've got our option there. We can go to General and have a look. Now, it actually generates a bunch of login and registration pages for you out of the box. Now, I've renamed them so they look like this, but you can rename the pages so they look like anything you want. So basically, you'll end up with this. You've got a login page that looks like, looks like this. Quite simple, quite plain. Same with the registration form. And you've got your recapture on there as well. That works just fine. The one thing to note is it does replace your actual WP admin standard page as well with the login. So uh, it replaces the standard WordPress one. So it does all that in just a couple of clicks, quite easy to set up. Some people did note that it does replace the standard admin thing. So that can create incompatibilities with some other plugins, but um, in most cases, it's probably going to be fine, but just check that. There were a few um, negative reviews that it messed up some websites. And I think some of the negative reviews were also about the free version used to be a lot more feature rich and they've removed some features from the free version. So not everyone enjoyed that. But I think if you're just after something very, very simple and quick to implement, this was actually fine. Uh, it cleans up the actual standard login page and it gives you some pretty clean looking um, login and registration forms. So not too bad, not too bad. Okay, now Theme My Login has lots of cool extensions like uh, MailChimp, social logins, two-factor authentication. Um, you have to pay extra for redirection, which is a bit of a pain. I would try to find a free redirection plugin to add on to this if I was doing that. And same with Recapture. We saw that my little free Recapture plugin was working just fine. You don't need to buy that one. How much does that actually cost? I think it's like $10 for a single site just for Recapture. Um, I thought that was a little bit stingy. Maybe they should put that in the free version. Um, anyway uh, if you wanted a redirection how much would that be again ten dollars so they kind of um, add these little uh, little little payments to get these uh, add-ons so fifteen dollars for social that might be interesting I haven't covered social login at all in this video I might come back with another video in the future if you guys are interested in, in uh, actual social logins for your WordPress site but I just wanted a nice simple basic uh, login for my WordPress site so I was just going for some quite simple clean ones so I think we're ready to wrap this video up and with our conclusions okay so overall I really like clean login I thought that was the simplest and easiest one it did need a little bit of CSS to set that up um, check out my previous video where I did that and I really did like that login press for just re-theming the standard WordPress page. That looks really, really cool. I'm gonna use that on a lot of sites, I think. Just the free version was good. And the pro version is pretty cool as well if you want all those features. But um, this one and that one, those were probably my favorite. I thought uh, login with Ajax was pretty good as well. And Zootix, I think it was only $14. That's awesome value. If you wanted a pro version for good value, I'd go with that. Um, Everything was okay 
honestly. I think um, I thought that was a little bit stingy, not giving you any um, redirect in the free version and making you pay ten dollars. Uh, that was a, that was okay, but um, very simple to set up. Um, I thought the th things looked pretty clean and. It was all done in a few clicks, so very good for beginners, I think, that theme my login. So I don't um, I don't not recommend it, I just enjoyed this one probably a little bit more if you just wanted a simple plugin. Um, same with Ajax, I thought these two were good little simple plugins. And finally, this one has a ton of like form building capability, I just thought it was quite expensive. So I think for most use cases, this is probably going to be overkill, but there might be some um, projects where you want something like that. So overall, seven plugins, uh, all of them did the job, to be honest. I just really liked uh, the look of this one and the simplicity of Clean Code. So Clean Code and Login Press, they're my sort of favorites for if you're happy using the standard page for WordPress, um, go with that one. If you really want to put the code on any page on your website for people to log in and design it in Elementor, I think Clean Login is a good one to go for. So hopefully it's been useful. Um, if you haven't watched the first video, go and check that out where I do those four. But otherwise, uh, hit like and hit subscribe and I will come back next time. So uh, catch you later.